Hello, I'm Ben Keaton, and this is an interview with a friend of mine, Ian Pollock, who I would say is a celebrated illustrator, right up there, one among the nation's uh, great illustrators. And I've been privileged to, uh, to know him and for him to be good friends with me since, uh, oh, I suppose, the mid-80s. Over those years, Ian hasn't really changed at all. And I find him so exciting to be in the company of. He's such a terrific artist and so uniquely himself. He um, writes a diary. And today, when we were talking and walking and chatting after many years of not being face to face, that I thought I would ask him about the diary that he's written ever since he was 15 years old. It was an excuse, really, to uh, to have a conversation. And now as I listen back on it, it's as much a review of a friendship as it is about the subject. So this is uh, myself in conversation with Ian Pollock talking about diaries. I started when I was about 15. 15? Yes, and it usually began with had cornflakes for breakfast this morning and it ended up went to bed about nine o'clock after watching Dixon of Doc Green. It's evolved since then. <laughs> you don't need to sound creepy. No, I know. <laughs> well, this is not going out on air, is it, Ben? No, no, no. no. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, no, it's a funny but it's, you know, did, did you really? So you started fifth? What, yeah, because what? I failed at my 11 plus. I, I took me two years to get my O level. Right. Uh, uh, 11 plus. Right. I failed my 11 plus, went to secondary modern school, hoped to get to grammar school, needed O level English, failed twice. Mm. It was only on the third reset that I managed to get it. And that was because I was ill as a child. I and I missed a whole year where my fellow ah. schoolmates learned to read and write. And I was returned to school in a very disadvantaged state. I thought Where, I'd make was it your it. idea? I've been running, catching, playing catching up ever, ever since. Uh, was it your idea to, to, to write a diary? I would have thought that if, you, if your writing wasn't great, you'd think, oh, if I'm done with writing. I'll do something else. On the else. contrary, my writing wasn't great and I just had to run to keep still to maintain God. a level with, 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 with... What are you doing with that? I'm just putting up the volume so I can hear your voice a little yeah. bit better. Are you worried? Do you think that I'm, I'm stumbling? Do... I need to rehearse this more often. Yeah, no, no, spontaneous is good. So, so you were um, 15, and you made a conscious decision to start writing it. I was probably marking down all the girlfriends I had at that age. I see, yes. and how many weeks I went without. Oh, I see, I see, I for see. My, my well-being of I, an adolescent. I understand. I understand. And I had codes as well as to how far I got with the girls. <laughs> <laughs> that only I know the. <laughs> <laughs> so now when you look back, do you, do you remember the code? Yes. Well, uh, you know, it's a bit of, you know, I don't want to go into it, but, you know. <laughs> We're all leading up to the great moment in later life. <laughs> and was was the code numbers or symbols? Uh, or? They, would, they would be like um, a vertical pencil line at the top. Oh, I as, see. As, as, akin to uh, a prisoner's... Oh, I see, like marking Sorry. off the... Yes. Oh, until, I think there were various stages, you know, how far you got with a girl, one to five. A one to five. And so five, so when you hit the five, was, was that a, a very significant day? The heavens would open. Oh, yeah. The Lord would appear. <laughs> <laughs> and angels would start singing. And, and uh, so do you have that in your diary? You, you know exactly the day that you got all the bars. Uh, the day, I think Kissing Girl was the number two. Gosh, makes you wonder what number one was. Holding hands, probably. Yes. Holding hands. Uh, them not running away screaming was a, quite an achievement in those days. Really? So that, oh, my gosh. And then you got all the way up to five. Did you? Uh, so you have the day and the moment. Do, do you remember? I remember kissing Gillian when I walked her home from the youth club. Oh, that's... Uh, now, you'd be arrested for that now because she was only 15. Yeah, but how old were you? 22, 23? 64. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. No, 90... Uh, what was that? Um, my case comes up on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I was about 15. You were the same, yeah, of course you the were. Same age, so she could equally have gone down. The two of us could have gone down together, couldn't we? She I had to know. sell. No, I don't think it would have been all right. I think 15-year-olds kissing each other is allowed. Oh, uh, uh, is it? I, I, I think that's know. acceptable on, in any period of time. I think that's acceptable. So you so you decided, and you wrote every day. You, you've been writing every no, day. Uh, not every day, but it's because I went back into my history. I did find these old diaries, you mm. know, from about 15 to 18, then there was a gap. Mm. That's when I had no need to write the codes at the top of the paper. Uh, 18. And life was 
was p- pacing along and I didn't have the time to write it. And it was only when after I left the Royal College of Art and I had to write a CV, I mm. found myself every word going to the di- direct you know, dictionary or thesaurus I to change it. And I realised how I, six years of not doing a diary, I living life to the full, mm. had impeded me and set me right back to pre I don't really. O-level, English level. So ever since then, I made an assiduous attempt yeah. to write a, a page, almost a full scam every day, God. and I've kept that up. So I've got about 45 years. That's incredible. I also thought I would be, um, I would help mother biographers along, should I ever make it. Yes. So they'll, ha- they'll have everything, every single uh, Every, thing. all the lies, all the red herrings, and, and, uh, all sorts. And, and so you do the, the beginning of the day, the end of the day? I used to be chronological with the timing but yeah. now it's more i'll just i'll just come in yeah at random that'll just trigger at least because you can't always think of anything creative yeah so rather than just uh, had cornflakes for breakfast had fish and chips for went for a walk no you've got to come in at an acute angle and, and maybe stir a bit of a you do know, you like, do you so you're are you writing it with the purpose of somebody else reading it no that was possibly the original intention because I believed in my greatness and I thought I would leave it to the historians. <laughs> a nice bumper. Fine. Now it's just to maintain my brain and detect how how rapidly dementia is uh, setting in. Sitting in, yeah. Yeah, right. And, and I can never remember how to spell develop. Oh, I know. Restaurant for me. Rehearsal. <laughs> I'm an actor. I can't spell rehearsal. I can't. Do you know what? Do you know what I found out? Siri. I love Siri. I tell you what I've got now. I've got yes, it here. But that's very, very lazy. It's ah, flicking through a thesaurus. You, 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 you come across all no. alternatives, which you wouldn't if you were just asking about the one word on Siri. No, I'll do, I'll do it now. Now, the, the thing I love about this is I have an Irish voice on mine. And, uh, and <laughs> when I put him in, I realise that the guy is a patronising bastard. Siri is? Yeah, yes, this, but, Siri this particular woman. voice I oh, picked. Right. And this guy, the third letter... Wait till you hear what he does. He does a thing of going, R, like, are you following me, Ben? <laughs> so listen to this. <clears throat> hey, Siri. Spell restaurant. Restaurant. R E S T A U R A N T. He's such a. He's such a little. You think, all right, all right, mate, all right, I've got it. And sometimes when I when I call him up, and I say, "Hey Siri," he goes, "Yes, Ben." Oh, how awful! A creepy. Anyway, back to you. No, enough uh, enough jokes. Back to me. You. So you've been doing this all this time. So that means that you have. That I'm interested in the one page. Do you actually limit yourself? Do you uh, ever get to? Oh no, limit myself to one page. Do you? So yeah. even like your wedding or anything else, whatever. It's a one signif- page. One page. Yes. And do you ever find yourself frustrated writing tiny, tiny, tiny writing? No, I can't stand writing it. I hate it, and I always sometimes feel guilty if I write too in too big a, a typeface. Do you? And you it, don't it, like it, it writing. It depends on the pen as well. You know, if I have a, it's annoying if I have a pen with a fine nib. I have to write twice as much as a pen with a fat nib. Good lord! But you don't like writing the diary. No. Gosh. It's it's like exercise. I I I, I do it because I need to, but I don't like doing it. I'd rather not have to. Gosh. It's a requirement, a mental requirement. That's it's like ama- taking medic medication. Is it really? It's like taking a medication. That's amazing, isn't it? And do you find it cathartic? I find it cathartic after I've done it. Yeah. The doing it is hateful. But you so, so what about reading back on it? Because you, you said recently that you... you well, I, if you listen to, you know, if you watch some sort of Channel 4 crime documentary, you know, the corpse was dug up in, nine, you know, February the 16th, 1984. Yeah. I'll go back to February the 16th, 1984. <laughs> I think, oh, I was out, out in that beer garden having a nice pint and that poor <laughs> bastard was being strangled. And being so you've got an alibi. You've got, you're running an alibi. Uh, well, it could also... Have me. you ever it had the... Also <laughs> commit me, couldn't Have you, you ever had the knock on the door? Spot when the bastard was being buried. <laughs> Have you had the police knock at the door going, oh, uh, yes, Mr Pollock, uh, we'd story. like to know where you were on the 16th of March. No, but it's very interesting historically, all the more so now in retrospect, to pop back at any any day over the last 45 years and just see to yourself yeah what, what was i so so if uh, have you done that where you, have you looked back and thought oh the day that uh, Prince, yes. the princess diana yes. died what was i doing that yes. day yes you have i have and and is uh, is that must be pretty interesting then it is very interesting so yeah. it becomes interesting in a way i hadn't foreseen That's thereafter it. what what about your relationships with people like like your your parents for example can you see now looking back think to yourself oh, i was a nightmare I, no wonder they were fed up with me do you ever think that I do, th- I do think that. But then, of course, you've got the, the, uh, 
hindsight and you can see possibly where you went wrong at the time in fact wasn't wrong it was it was a, a, the correct emotion to have and oh, you right. can see how it pans out yeah. and comes works out all right in the end or yeah not all right in the end gosh gosh because you're in the moment when you're writing and I'm, I'm life life is in the moment it's like smoking the pipe isn't it it's like just yeah the little thoughts going up and smoke do you ever worry about other people reading them yes because I say some very nasty things about people. <laughs> so you put in, so if, if you're feeling fed up at somebody, whatever, yes. you, you stick it in. Yeah. And are you worried that somebody who knows them will read it? And go, yes. Oh, Ian, I thought, I thought we got on pretty well. <laughs> well, one's innermost thoughts, privy only to yourself, how you don't have any moral control over them. They are, they mm. are, they run their own course. Mm. The problem is a dusting in, <sighs> In the moment to them, so they are deceived by the pleasantries mm. that, you know, you, you, you've got to in order to negotiate around them. It's, 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 it's out of respect to them, the loathing you have of them, to overcome it in a quiet way possible so you can actually get on with these people. Yes, yes. So, God, Keep your enemies close, you know, and yeah. your friends are close, your enemies even closer. So, it, so it, how it works between you and me, Ben. <laughs> Good to be in touch, isn't it? <laughs> and so, what, what do you want from this? What, what do you want? You tell I me want that them you destroyed, and I want them put on a, a, a memory stick. You've got both a pen gone. drive, and I want it to be <clears throat> timely dissolved in acid on the day I'm lowered into the grave. Or go to the you go go to the crematorium. So you have <laughs> so you have them. You digitize them. Yeah. So so part of you wants it there for pros po posterity. I want them there for posterity, but I'm not really going to be the great uh, you know figure in culture that I thought I might be. But you so might be you might be a mi an interesting minor character. <laughs> well, even if I am, I want to, you know, increase my chances of being more prominent by not being so nasty to everybody that I met on the way. Ah, oh, but so I, like, I, I to... like the idea of the honesty of it. I mean, you don't want to lie in a diary. Do you lie in it? It's, just mani it's a kind of managed alternative truth. A managed alternative They're truth. They're not lies. What are but they? But they might not be the truth. I see. So they're not the truths. They are the truth of the moment at that time. Oh, I see. Where so, we exist always as we are now. Yeah. Now, it could be a, a good lawyer will go back and say, no, that wasn't true. I see. That person wasn't a bastard. He was a very nice person. Yes. And he can get up a sufficient defence to prove himself right and that yeah. I am wrong. So is it a lie? If it's yeah. a lie, then yeah. it, is, it is a failure of my insight and depth. That's interesting. I've, I've, uh, I, I sent a, a thank you to, to my friend Greg Hertzov. He was at the Royal Exchange forever. And I sent a thank you to him and described to some of our working together and, and stuff like this. And he sent me a message back going, thank you so much, man. That was really good. I didn't recognize quite a bit of the things that you said. <laughs> I remember them slightly differently, but I'm so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh God, I'm fictionalizing my history already. Do, do you find, is it, is it do, when you look back, do you think to uh, yourself differently? You think, I, I remember it this way. Oh my God, it was very different when I read it now. No. The, 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 I'm not reflecting on history or, or my role in any kind of life. It is just about that day and that moment. So mm -hmm. they're little fragments of truth. Mm-hmm. Like a, mm. a, a telephone you've left on and you're recording, or a, yeah. a, a, a camera you're accidentally taking photographs. So they're no more than little things. So I can go back to that day, remember it, and then then recall the truth of the day by yeah. these little triggers. I see. Oh, that was the day I fell over and yeah. cut my knee, and I had to have stitches in. Yeah. Isn't it remarkable, you know, 45 years on, the day, the flavour, the smells are all... I agree with that, yeah. So it's not, they're yeah. not lost. Those days aren't lost. I, that's why I love film and I love, I love the, the, I do these uh, fil uh, films of, of, of uh, young people in school. And I love the idea that it captures everything about that. It captures that moment. Yes. All the friendships are there and the relationships are there, the things that evaporate with age. As soon as you close the door and you walk out the door, 80% of what's behind you is gone. Yes. Now yes, you think. Yes. And, and so, you're, so your diary is capturing more of that, isn't it? And it's the incidentals as well. It's, you know, if you, if you go back and take, uh, look at an old wedding photograph, say, mm. and the bride and broom are getting into the car, I think, look at that car. 
and the ones parked beyond mm. and the typography mm. on that confectioner's shop. I, yeah. Oh, they've moved on and this has several yeah, owners. Yeah, yeah. It's not the wedding. It's these incidentals that, around it. That's what makes particularly it. interesting. And I thought, God, they were collectors of classic cars in those days. I yeah. don't remember them as being classic cars, yeah. but now they're all classic cars. They've got yeah. my streets full of them. And also, of course, all the people that, that and the, we forget. Wearing, we, and, and we those. forget. But we forget people, don't we? We forget the connections. Yes. And, and, and so all those minor relationships yeah. come it, back in as well. That's right. It just triggers the down is a trigger yeah. so i want to ask you now so we can end up i want to know um what is the uh, your saddest entry i mark certain pages with the black border so i can refer to them because you, 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 you often forget the date even though it's yeah. like sort of a major problem the death of a, a, my cousin particularly and death of my parents yes. they're all marked with and, and you border. stay to the one page still stay to the one page i see right and hi, uh, and happiest moment is that because is that of the black border for, for sad? The happiest moment, I think, was the birth of my first child. Yeah. Arnold. And I did a drawing in my little Sylvan memo notebook of him emerging, <laughs> which I cut out, including my diary. So sometimes I, I cut out little bits of sketches and thumbnails and photographs. So that's the day of, you know... That's, that's I'm, I'm passing, you know, I'm moving on. I'm handing over the baton to someone else. How oh, sweet, man. That's brilliant. Ian Pollock, you're a star. Aren't I? You are. God bless, Ben. Love you, man. Love you. I hope it's not recorded, have you? Oh, lo- 16 what minutes. What fucking for? To, to, for, for, for? It'll go in your diary. You're fucking hell, yeah. man. No worries. <laughs>